Skyscrapers have been racing to claim the title of world's tallest for over a century, but with each new contender, engineers face the same fundamental problem – how to build higher without sacrificing stability. The Burj Khalifa's innovative design solves this problem in several ingenious ways. Rising a staggering 828 meters into the Dubai sky, the Burj Khalifa is an engineering marvel that pushes the boundaries of what's possible in skyscraper construction. Its sleek, tapering form is instantly recognizable, but the real magic lies in the cutting-edge design and materials that allow this behemoth to reach such heights while withstanding the forces of nature. In this video, we'll take you inside the Burj Khalifa to uncover the groundbreaking engineering secrets that make this architectural icon a true miracle of modern science. From its record-breaking foundations to its high-tech facade, we'll explore how every element works together to create a tower that seems to defy the very laws of physics. Get ready for an in-depth look at the mind-bending innovations that have redefined what a skyscraper can be. So just how tall is this desert giant? The Burj Khalifa soars to an astonishing height of 828 meters, 2,717 feet, making it far and away the tallest building on the planet. To put that into perspective, it's nearly three times the height of the Eiffel Tower and more than double the height of the Empire State Building. This unprecedented height cements the Burj Khalifa's status as the ultimate vertical city. But the Burj Khalifa doesn't just hold the record for tallest building, it also boasts a number of other superlatives. With 160 habitable floors, it has the most stories of any building in the world. Its highest occupied floor at 585 meters, 1,918 feet, is also a record. Even its elevator system sets new standards, with the longest elevator travel distance and the tallest service elevator in the world. Reaching such remarkable heights was no easy feat and required pushing the boundaries of engineering at every stage of construction. The tower's final height remained a closely guarded secret throughout the build process, as developers Imar Properties sought to ensure the Burj Khalifa would exceed any other skyscraper under construction at the time. Historical milestones during the tower's construction reveal the sheer scale and ambition of the project. By April 2007, the Burj Khalifa had already reached a height of 422.5 meters, encompassing 120 floors. Just a few months later in July, it surpassed the 512.1 meter height of the Taipei 101, becoming the tallest building in the world, and it just kept climbing from there. In September 2007, the Burj Khalifa reached 555.3 meters, making it the tallest freestanding structure in the world. By the start of 2008, it had surpassed the KVLY-TV mast in North Dakota to become the tallest man-made structure of any kind, standing at 630.5 meters tall. When its spire was raised to its full height in early 2009, the Burj Khalifa set a new record that many thought might never be broken. Of course, achieving such unprecedented heights is only possible with materials and engineering techniques that can withstand the immense structural pressures involved. In the case of the Burj Khalifa, a staggering amount of concrete, steel, and glass was required to bring this vision to life. To achieve such monumental heights, the Burj Khalifa required an equally monumental quantity of materials. The tower's construction consumed a staggering 330,000 cubic meters of concrete, enough to pave a sidewalk 2,065 kilometers long. This concrete formed the building's mega foundations, which include 192 piles driven 43 meters deep into the earth, each with a diameter of 1.5 meters. Such a massive subterranean base was crucial to providing stability for the immense structure above. But concrete alone would not suffice for a skyscraper of this magnitude. The Burj Khalifa also incorporates 39,000 metric tons of steel reinforcement, with a total length of 103,000 kilometers, nearly enough to wrap around the Earth three times. This lattice of steel rebar provides the tensile strength necessary to counteract the forces of wind and gravity that threaten to topple a tower reaching over a half a mile into the sky. The Burj Khalifa's sleek exterior is clad in 142,000 square meters of SunGuard, high-performance reflective glazing, an area equivalent to 17 football fields. This glass is specifically designed to withstand the intense desert heat and filter out the harmful rays of the sun, while still allowing optimal light transmission. The facade also incorporates aluminum panels, with a total weight equivalent to that of five Airbus A380 aircraft. 
But it's not just the sheer volume of materials that makes the Burj Khalifa an engineering tour de force. Every element was meticulously chosen and tested to ensure optimal performance under the extreme conditions of the Dubai climate. The concrete mix design, for example, went through extensive trials to find the ideal balance of strength, workability, and durability. The result is a high-strength concrete that can withstand the tremendous compressive forces at the base of the tower, while also resisting the corrosive effects of the salty gulf air. Similarly, the SunGuard glass was put through rigorous wind tunnel tests and thermal stress analyses to ensure it could handle the buffeting winds and temperature fluctuations that come with such extreme heights. The aluminum cladding was also specially treated to resist corrosion and maintain its pristine appearance in the harsh desert environment. The use of cutting-edge materials extends to the tower's interior as well. The elevator cables, for instance, are made of a lightweight carbon fiber core with high-strength polyethylene coating, a combination that offers maximum strength with minimum weight. This allows the elevators to reach record-breaking speeds of up to 10 meters per second, while also reducing the load on the building's structure. In essence, every component of the Burj Khalifa has been engineered to the highest standards, utilizing the most advanced materials science available. The result is a skyscraper that pushes the boundaries of what is physically possible, achieving heights that were once thought unattainable. But even with such cutting-edge materials, constructing a tower of this scale presented immense challenges at every stage. From pouring the massive foundation to erecting the final spire, engineers had to devise innovative solutions to problems never before encountered in skyscraper construction. Overcoming the myriad engineering challenges posed by the Burj Khalifa's unprecedented height required innovative solutions at every turn. One of the most critical issues was the need for a deep and stable foundation to support the immense weight of the structure. To achieve this, engineers used a cathodic protection system, which involves burying sacrificial anodes in the ground to attract corrosive compounds away from the foundation's steel reinforcement. This helps to prevent rusting and degradation of the foundation over time, ensuring its long-term integrity. Another key challenge was pumping concrete to such extreme heights, as the pressure generated by the weight of the concrete can cause the mix to segregate and lose strength. To overcome this, a special high-density, low-permeability concrete was developed, capable of withstanding the immense compressive forces at the base of the tower. This concrete was pumped using a specially designed self-climbing formwork system, which allowed for continuous pouring at a rate of one floor every three days. Wind forces also posed a significant threat to the stability of the structure, particularly at higher altitudes. To mitigate this, the Burj Khalifa employs a Y-shaped plane that confuses the wind, with three separate wings buttressing each other and minimizing the impact of wind forces on any one face of the tower. The building's exterior cladding system is also designed to withstand wind loads of up to 250 km per hour, with the aluminum panels and sunguard glass undergoing rigorous wind tunnel testing to ensure their resilience. Seismic activity, although rare in the region, was another consideration in this tower's design. The Burj Khalifa sits atop a podium that acts as a structural anchor, with the building's wings extending from this central hub. This design helps to redistribute the forces of any seismic activity, allowing the structure to move as a unit rather than sway independently. The building also incorporates multiple damper systems, including viscous dampers and tuned mass dampers, which help to absorb and dissipate the energy of seismic waves. Finally, the sheer height of the tower posed challenges for vertical transportation, with conventional elevator systems proving insufficient for the task. To solve this, the Burj Khalifa employs the world's longest elevator system, with elevators capable of traveling at speeds of up to 10 meters per second. The building also features 58 elevators and 8 escalators, with the longest elevator travel distance of 504 meters. To achieve these feats, lightweight carbon fiber cables and advanced motors were used, reducing the overall weight and power requirements of the system. In essence, the Burj Khalifa stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of innovative engineering to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. From its record-breaking foundation to its high-tech facade and elevator systems, every element of the tower has been carefully designed and engineered to push the boundaries of what's possible in skyscraper construction. And yes, for all its cutting-edge technology, the Burj Khalifa's true marvel lies in its ability to withstand the forces of nature at such extreme heights. The Burj Khalifa's innovative design and cutting-edge technologies play a crucial role in its ability to withstand the extreme conditions at such unprecedented heights. 
One of the most critical features is the building's aerodynamic shape, which helps to mitigate the effects of high winds. The tower's Y-shaped plan, consisting of three wings buttressing each other around a central core, confuses the wind forces and reduces the wind loads on any one face of the structure. This design was the result of extensive wind tunnel testing, which simulated the behavior of wind currents at various heights and directions to determine the optimal shape for the tower. In addition to its aerodynamic profile, the Burj Khalifa incorporates a number of other design elements that enhance its stability in the face of extreme weather conditions. The exterior cladding system, composed of SunGuard high-performance reflective glazing and aluminum panels, is engineered to withstand wind speeds of up to 250 km per hour. The cladding underwent rigorous testing to ensure its resilience, including dynamic wind pressure tests, air infiltration and water penetration tests, and thermal cycling tests to simulate the expansion and contraction caused by temperature fluctuations. The tower also features a sophisticated lightning protection system, which is critical given its extreme height and the frequency of lightning strikes in the region. The system includes a network of copper cables running through the structure and connected to the ground, which safely channel lightning currents away from the building and its occupants. The cladding panels are also designed to withstand the high temperatures generated by lightning strikes without sustaining damage. To further enhance the building's stability, the Burj Khalifa employs a combination of high-strength concrete and structural steel. The tower's reinforced concrete structure, which makes up the majority of its height, provides excellent stiffness and minimizes the swaying motion that can occur in tall buildings. The structural steel spire at the top of the tower, while adding to its aesthetic appeal, also serves an important structural function by supporting communication equipment and providing additional lateral stability. Inside the tower, an advanced system of elevators and escalators ensures the safe and efficient movement of occupants. The Burj Khalifa boasts the world's longest elevator system, with elevators capable of traveling at speeds of up to 10 meters per second. The building's 58 elevators and 8 escalators are strategically zoned to optimize traffic flow, with express elevators servicing specific sections of the tower to reduce travel times. The elevators also feature advanced safety systems, including electromagnetic brakes overload sensors, and automatic rescue devices in case of emergencies. The Burj Khalifa's innovative design and cutting-edge technologies work together to create an exceptionally stable and secure structure, capable of withstanding the most extreme weather conditions. From its aerodynamic shape and resilient cladding system, to its high-strength structural elements and advanced vertical transportation, every aspect of the tower has been carefully engineered to push the boundaries of what's possible in skyscraper design and construction. The combination of these groundbreaking engineering feats has enabled the Burj Khalifa to achieve unparalleled heights while ensuring the safety and comfort of its occupants. But just how does this architectural marvel fare when faced with the full force of nature's fury? The Burj Khalifa's stability and safety in the face of extreme weather conditions is a testament to its innovative aerodynamic design and rigorous safety protocols. The building's Y-shaped plan, consisting of three wings that buttress each other around a central core, plays a crucial role in mitigating the effects of high winds. This unique configuration confuses the wind forces, reducing the wind loads on any one face of the structure. Extensive wind tunnel testing was conducted to simulate the behavior of wind currents at various heights and directions, allowing engineers to optimize the tower's shape for maximum stability. In addition to its aerodynamic profile, the Burj Khalifa's exterior the exterior cladding system is engineered to withstand wind speeds of up to 250 km per hour. The SunGuard high-performance reflective glazing and aluminum panels underwent a series of rigorous tests, including dynamic wind pressure tests, air infiltration and water penetration tests, and thermal cycling tests. These evaluations ensured the cladding's resilience against the extreme weather conditions that the tower may face at its unprecedented height. The safety of the Burj Khalifa's occupants is paramount, and the building incorporates a comprehensive set of safety protocols and measures. The tower features a state-of-the-art fire safety system, which includes smoke detectors, fire alarms, automatic sprinklers, and dedicated firefighting elevators. The building's emergency response plan is regularly reviewed and updated to ensure its effectiveness 
effectiveness in the event of a crisis. The Burj Khalifa's advanced elevator system also plays a vital role in ensuring occupant safety. The building's 58 elevators and 8 escalators are equipped with advanced safety features, such as electromagnetic brakes, overload sensors, and automatic rescue devices. In the event of a power failure, the elevators are designed to automatically return to the nearest floor, allowing occupants to safely exit the building. To further enhance safety, the Burj Khalifa employs a sophisticated building management system that monitors and controls various aspects of the tower's operations. This system constantly monitors the building's structural integrity as well as its mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, alerting maintenance staff to any potential issues before they become critical. The combination of the Burj Khalifa's aerodynamic design, robust exterior cladding, and comprehensive safety protocols creates an exceptionally stable and secure environment for its occupants. These features work in harmony to ensure that the tower can withstand the most extreme weather conditions, providing a safe haven in the sky even in the face of nature's fury. The Burj Khalifa's ability to weather the extremes is a testament to the ingenuity and foresight of its designers and engineers. By pushing the boundaries of skyscraper design and construction, they have created a structure that not only reaches unparalleled heights, but also ensures the safety and comfort of those who inhabit it. The tower stands as a shining example of human achievement, demonstrating our ability to overcome even the most daunting challenges posed by the natural world. The Burj Khalifa, a marvel of modern engineering, stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of human ingenuity. From its record-breaking height of 828 meters to its innovative use of materials like high-strength concrete and structural steel, every aspect of this architectural wonder has been meticulously designed to push the boundaries of what is possible in skyscraper construction. The challenges overcome during its construction, such as the need for a deep and stable foundation, the pumping of concrete to extreme heights, and the mitigation of wind forces showcase the remarkable technical prowess of its engineers and builders. The tower's cutting-edge technologies, including its aerodynamic shape, advanced elevator systems, and sophisticated building management system, ensure its stability and safety even in the face of nature's most extreme conditions. As we reflect on the Burj Khalifa's legacy, we are inspired to imagine the future of architecture and the limitless potential of human creativity and determination. To learn more about the inner workings of another engineering marvel, be sure to watch our video Inside the World's Largest Container Ship, which explores the design and operation of these massive vessels that have revolutionized global trade. Much like how the Burj Khalifa has redefined the skyline of Dubai and the limits of skyscraper construction.